Hey y'all, I made it. I made it back to YouTube. <laughs> Thank goodness. Let's see next week if I make it back. Anyways, so y'all, let me let let me school y'all on me. I am passionate about the advancement of the black woman. I'm passionate about setting a new narrative for the black woman. I never say slavery is black history. Slavery interrupted black history. And all these things the black woman had to go through, slavery, colorism, um, mental illness, um, whew, single mother households, um, all these things affected the how we see the black woman today. There is a stigma for the black woman. There is a stereotype for the black woman. She's angry. She has an attitude. She's this, she's that. But has anybody, lied, Dottie and everybody, has anybody ever said why does she have that stereotype? Why does she seem so angry? So I don't think the black woman's angry. I think the black woman is in pain. Pain and suffrage. See, we don't talk about that. We don't dissect those layers. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have a series here dissecting the black woman's pain. And it's going to be a X amount of series. We're going to be talking about different issues. Y'all going to let me know how you feel about it. And you're going to share the video because I am so sick of hearing the black woman is angry. The black woman is this. The black woman is that. You need to know from day one when she was the first one was kidnapped from the shores of Africa to today in 2019, because all that that happened in between, it, I mean, it wasn't it wasn't pretty. It, it was it was bloodshed. It was tears shed. It it was it was really a lot, and it still is a lot. And we are in pain, okay, because there is a lack of compassion for the black woman. And it stops now. So don't say, you know, make sure you 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 let you let folk know you heard it here first. See. Cheers. So part one, I'm gonna sp be speaking about colorism. Now, for those of you who don't know, colorism is basically not basically it is. Prejudice or discrimination within a group, an ethnicity, a race towards the darker shades. So, for example, I'm light skinned. I would be put up here and a dark skinned woman will be put down here. Even though we're both black. Even though we are both sisters. Even though both of our parents are black. I'm up here and she's down here. Why? Because people fetishize lighter skin tones. It's ignorant. I don't agree with it. I think it's stupid. I, I, I think it's a hideous display, but it's what happens. And we have to, the things that are incorrect with the world, guys, we can't just say, well, that's how things are. No, we have to bring attention to it. So... I follow a lot of black history pages on Instagram and I stumbled upon someone named Claudette Colvin. Now, y'all all know, back in the day when it was Black History Month, I don't know about y'all, but I did my report on Rosa Parks at least three times. You know, Rosa refused, you know, to give up her seat to a white passenger. The rest was history. But, unfortunately, one of my dark skinned sisters got slighted because she did it first. She did it nine months prior to Rosa Parks. And I think it's asinine. It's, uh, it, it amazes me that I'm 24 and I'm just finding this out. Why doesn't she get the notoriety that Rosa got? I, I mean, seriously, like, why not her, you know? I read several articles saying she 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 wasn't a good fit. You know, she's 15. She you know, she was a teenage. No. All, to me, in my opinion, that's all deflection. 
That's all deflection. The NAACP, as we know, who was developed by, by the black community for the black community, snubbed uh, Claudette. And I, I was just like, really? Now, once again, don't get me wrong. S Rosa is sis. Like, Rosa, like, we here, okay? But the fact that Claudette is not deemed worthy to represent the um deconstruction of segregation because she's dark she's dark skin is ridiculous and it's even more ridiculous that you have people um saying colorism isn't a thing colorism exists okay because let's fast forward to today you have people saying you know they only want light skin babies you have black men not all black men going for biracial women, white women, because they don't want their children to look like them. The self-hate runs deep, ladies and gentlemen. It runs deep. And this is a layer in the black woman's pain that a lot of people don't speak about, but it's there. It, it, it absolutely is there. I remember being a kid, you know, people asking me if I was mixed. And, you know, kind of like, a, you know, oh, are you mixed? Kind of like, you know, they just get in sweaty and excited about it. Like being mixed is a prize. Being light skin is a prize. Let me tell you something. Let me break it down for y'all. The only thing that should matter is that we all black. We all black. We all popping. We all lit. And I will never take part in looking down on another black woman because she's darker skin if i'm gonna have a problem with one of my sisters she out here acting a uh, a nut job fool she out here hurting her kids she out here bashing uh, a fellow black woman she out here you know being scandalous and you know not having respect for her family, for her man. I'm not going to look down on her because of the pigmentation in her skin. I mean, it's just, it's flipping sorcery. I mean, it's crazy. It is just crazy. But it goes back to light-skinned slaves, even back in the day, getting better treatment, more food, dressed nicer. You know, they don't have to wake up as soon as the bell rings. I mean, this stuff runs deep. And it's been in existence forever but we don't want to talk about it we don't want to talk about it this is a quote from Claudette even if I was not pregnant the only difference between me and Rosa was that she was in a she was an adult and she was lighter tones blacks at the time mm, like the lighter to feature lighter feature of women and men because to Rosa, because Rosa could have represented um, both poor and middle class. That's what she said. It was um, BGLH Marketplace.com. You can look it up yourself. I saw it. And, you know, look her up, Claudette Colvin. You know, say her name. And once again, I'm not trying to bash Rosa. I'm not trying to look down on Rosa. I'm not trying to take away from what she did. Because, like I said, I ain't going to bash a black woman. Unless she really just out here, you know, acting crazy. Um, it, it's, it's sad to me. You know what I'm saying? It's people fetishize over a lighter skin. I mean, look at Cardi B. She's a perfect modern example. She's not a black woman, but she is a black caricature. She fits that stereotype of the ratchet black woman. And she's popping. And I'm not going to say she has zero talent. I'm not going to say that. But there's plenty of dark-skinned women that rap way better than Cardi B. Where's their notoriety? Where's their, you know, um, their show, their sold-out shows? You know, where, where's the, uh, why aren't they on Good Morning America? Why aren't they on this show, that show? Why aren't they, um, you know, a trending topic? Why? Nicki Minaj, she's another example. Once again, not going to say she has zero talent. I'm not going to say that. But you have dark-skinned women who are talented and they're not willing to sell themselves in a degrading way. But 
they're not famous, they're not well known, they ain't popping, they ain't lit, and they actually have everything worthy of being popping and lit and you know on the charts and stuff like that. But why aren't they out there like that? See, y'all can deny it all you want, but for me, I'm gonna call a thing a thing. It's colorism. People want to see lighter skin tones out there. The media has a idea, a set idea of what they want the black woman to represent. Let me know what y'all think. Do you guys think colorism is a thing? Do you think I shouldn't have spoke, uh, spoken on it? Do you think it, um, it doesn't exist? Do you think that's a layer of the black woman's pain? Let me know what y'all think. Um... I'm going to be doing more videos on dissecting the black woman's pain. But let me know what you guys think about colorism. Have you guys ever experienced colorism? Um, do you think it's a thing in the past? What do you guys think? Let me know. Bye.